Do you dream of being financially free, of not having to worry about money, and being able to live the life you want? Well, you're not alone. In fact, a recent survey found that 65% of Americans consider financial freedom to be their top financial goal. But how do you achieve financial freedom? Is it even possible? The answer is yes, and in this video, we're going to show you the 7 steps you can take to make it happen. We'll cover everything from setting financial goals to investing wisely. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and start living the life you deserve, then let's get started. Step number one, set your goals. The first step in achieving financial freedom is to set your financial goals. Without a clear idea of what you want to achieve financially, it's impossible to create a plan to get there. Start by asking yourself what you want to achieve financially in the short term and in the long term. Write down your goals, including the amount of money you need to achieve them and a timeline to reach them. A study by Harvard Business School found that those who set clear goals are 10 times more likely to achieve success than those who don't. According to a survey conducted by Fidelity Investments, 55% of Americans don't know how much they need to save for retirement. For example, if your goal is to save for a down payment on a house, you'll need to know about how much money you'll need and the time you need to save that amount. If you're not sure how much you need, research the average cost of a down payment in your area and set a goal to save that amount within a specific time frame. Step number two, create a budget. The second step in achieving financial freedom is to create a budget. A budget is a tool that helps you keep track of your income and expenses, so you can see where your money's going and identify areas where you can come back on expenses. A study by Bankrate found that only 41% of Americans use a budget. The average American spends around $18,000 a year on non-essential expenses, such as dining out, entertainment, and vacations. For example, if you spend $400 a month on dining out, you could try to reduce that amount by cooking more meals at home or eating out less frequently. By creating a budget, you can track your progress and see how much money you're saving each month. Step 3. Track Your Expenses the third step in achieving financial freedom is to track your expenses. Once you have a budget in place, it's important to track your expenses regularly to ensure that you're staying on track with your financial goals. A study by the National Foundation for Credit Counseling found that only 17% of Americans track their expenses. According to a survey by Charles Schwab, 59% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. For example, if you go over your budget on a particular category, such as dining out or entertainment, you can adjust your spending habits accordingly to stay on track with your goals. Step 4. Pay off debt The fourth step in achieving financial freedom is to pay off debt. Now that you've established an emergency fund and are regularly saving, it's time to tackle any outstanding debt. High interest debt such as credit card debt can eat away at your finances and prevent you from achieving true financial freedom. According to a 2021 survey by CreditCards.com, the average credit card interest rate in the U.S. is 16.28%. In 2020, the average U.S. household had $7,027 in credit card debt. Let's say you have $5,000 in credit card debt with a 20% interest rate. If you only make the minimum payment of 2% each month, it will take you over 20 years to pay off the debt, and you'll end up paying over $10,000 in interest alone. However, if you prioritize paying off the debt aggressively and make larger payments, you can pay it off in just a few years and save thousands of dollars in interest. Step 5. Build Passive Income The fifth step in achieving financial freedom is to build passive income. Building passive income streams can help you achieve financial freedom by providing a source of income that requires little ongoing effort. Some popular ways to build passive income streams include investing in rental properties, creating and selling digital products, and building an online business. According to a 2021 survey by Bankrate, over half of U.S. adults have some form of passive income. The average annual dividend yield for S&P 500 stocks is around 1.3%. Let's say you invest in $10,000 in a stock with a 5% dividend yield. You would receive $500 in annual dividend payments, providing a steady stream of income without any ongoing effort on your part. Step 6. Live Below Your Means The sixth step in achieving financial freedom is to live below your means. Living below your means is an important step in achieving financial freedom. This means spending less money than you earn and being intentional with your expenses. One way to live below your means is to create a budget and track your spending. You can use a spreadsheet or budgeting app to keep track of your income and expenses. Living below your means doesn't mean depriving yourself of everything, but it does mean being mindful of your spending and making intentional choices about where your money goes. 
In 2020, the average American household had $7,027 in credit card debt. According to a survey by Bankrate, 56% of Americans have less than $5,000 in savings. The average American spends $3,459 a year on eating out. One example of someone who successfully lived below their means is personal finance expert Dave Ramsey. He advocates for living on a budget and avoiding debt. By living frugally and making intentional choices about his expenses, Ramsey was able to build a successful business and become a millionaire. Step 7. Diversify Your Investments The seventh step in achieving financial freedom is to diversify your investments. Investing your money is a key part of achieving financial freedom, but it's important to diversify your investments to reduce risk. This means spreading your investments across different types of assets, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. According to a 2021 survey by Gallup, only 55% of Americans have invested in the stock market. The average annual return for the S&P 500 from 1926 to 2020 is around 10%. Let's say you invest all your money into one stock, and that stock loses value. You could lose a significant portion of your investment. However, if you spread out your investments across different types of assets, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate, you can reduce your risk and potentially earn a higher return. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of our video on the 7 steps to achieving financial freedom. We hope you found these steps helpful and insightful, and that you feel inspired to take action and start making positive changes to your financial situation. Remember, achieving financial freedom is not a quick fix, but rather a journey that requires discipline, dedication, and commitment. But with the right mindset and the right tools, you can make it happen. We wish you all the best in your financial journey, and thank you for watching.